Your final comedian of the night can often, like myself, be seen on those shows here on Thursdays. Uh, and when he's not doing that, he's opening for Joe Rogan. He's opening for me, Tony Hinchcliffe, on my up-and-coming tour, which starts in a couple weeks. He is a monster, the longest-standing regular in the history of the show, the Big Red Machine, William Montgomery, everybody. <laughs> Come on, people, make some noise for William. The uh, the first time I heard Molly did porn. Some of you might know I work in pornography. I looked her up on Pornhub porn hub that evening and can confirm she does do porn. I wrote this set for my grandfather to perform, but he couldn't be here tonight, so here it goes. Back in my day, you had to go to the woods to find a switch. Nowadays, all you got to do is call Nintendo. <laughs> if y'all could laugh really hard as if my grandfather was saying these jokes, I'd really appreciate it. My wife is so hot, Viagra takes me instead. Okay, guys, keep laughing. I need this. Grandpa needs this. Hey, kids, what's scarier than a Japanese guy in a plane? A Japanese pilot with his eyes open. Whoa, Grandpa, no, the war's over. Nintendo's a Japanese company, for God's sake. Okay, that's all I got today. Wow, I love it. That's a new fucking delivery method right there. <laughs> Wrote a set for your grandfather. Yeah, I thought I'd change it up a little bit today. Do you even have a real grandfather? Yeah, I have one down in Vicksburg, Mississippi. My uh, dad and uncle have to give him money every month. Wow. Why is that? Why, what did he do? He retired without a... Yeah, I think he retired in like his 40s. Oh, wow. Yep, and my parents have to give him money every month, and it's a constant... Uh, thing of contention in the Montgomery household. Wow. What do they say? Like, do an impression of your father having to realize that he has to give Grandpa Vicksburg uh, some money. Francis, I am sick and fucking tired of giving your fucking dad money every month. Yeah, that's a pretty good impression. Yeah. That's, that's about what it is every time. Seems pretty spot on. That's about what it is every time. Wow. I love it. William, you look more chiseled. You've been losing weight. He stopped drinking six months ago. He went home for the holidays and came back with a well-trimmed beard and haircut. Your parents forced you to do that. Am I correct? Yes, my mom did. Right. What did she say? She said, William, you have to get it together. She said, Francis, I am sick. I'm kidding. I was about to say what I had already said. I have been gaming a whole bunch this week. I literally can't stop playing PlayStation 4. I beat The Last of Us and The Last of Us 2, and now I'm on to The Ghost of Tsushima. Oh, wow. I can't stop fucking playing. I'm going to leave here and immediately start playing again. That's it is great true. Game. He literally does this all the time. He plays video games now and eats soup and walks around with an unregistered gun. I do. I have fucking an extra one tonight in my trunk. I have three fucking guns in my trunk tonight. Yeah. I got an extra one for you, Red Band, you piece of shit. Also, All for right. the record, good luck starting your fucking car tonight, Red Band. <laughs> What'd you do to his car? You put a bomb in it? Yeah, let's just say don't be near the Tesla out back when he fucking gets in it. Because there's going to be some fireworks tonight. Whoa. What? Now, this rivalry with Red Band, we've seen it now for weeks to months. Always a little, uh, always a little energy. Last week, uh, William uh, tried to make amends with Red Band. He said uh, that he wants to bury the hatchet and put out his hand to shake it, and William had one of those shocker things in his hand, and, and Red Band flinched so hard his hips that he literally broke the iron of the chair that he's sitting on. 
right off its hinges. So then he sort of fell and was all floppy. You guys know those shockers, right? Like the ones you wind up there. You're like, how is this ever going to work on somebody? It fucking worked. That's man. what I was saying. For like an hour afterwards, I had this like ghost pain or something in my hand. Right. I'm just like, what's wrong with my hand? <laughs> William, it was one of the most <laughs> well executed pranks I've seen in my entire life. It's just for real. So old school. Nobody saw it coming. Uh, and, and you really took the rivalry to a new level. I thought that it was going to be the end. I thought you truly wanted to bury the hatchet, and instead, you hit him with that hatchet. Yeah, it's it's just the beginning of this shit, and I'm not fucking kidding. What it's is just it about, the beginning what, of this oh, red Before you interrupt, what is it about Red Band that you don't like? It's so interesting. He gives you opportunities. He books you on his shows regularly. Two, years ago, two years ago, he made a pass at me. <laughs> And I haven't fucking forgotten it. What kind of, pa- what kind of pass did he make it? I was over at his house and I was changing clothes in his closet, and he comes in there Why? and asks if he can help put my boxers on. And I say, "Get out, Red Band." And he's like, "No, come here." And I did, and he tried to kiss me, and I didn't try to kiss you. Yeah, you did kiss me. Yeah, I know. Wow. I was embarrassed to fucking say you actually did it. Yeah, you actually made out with me in the closet. He yeah. put his tongue in your mouth? Yeah, and I kind of reciprocated. I wow. uh, I honestly kind of liked it, and I started texting him a bunch and calling him a bunch, and he basically said, quit contacting me well, romantically, you you... and that's honestly what hurts, right, man? That's where all this fucking started. He wanted to be your lover, well, dude. I got a girlfriend. You got to be cool. You can't just be fucking texting me and calling me all day, right? We got to hide this shit. All right. Well, now I know, Red Band. Now I fucking know, dude. I told you to download Signal, man. Well, I didn't fucking download Signal. <laughs> you know I'm not going to download Signal. William, if you had a chance to make... Slow love to Red Band. Uh, what would be the first thing that you would do to him? How would you take him? I would lay him uh, on his back on my bed. I would slowly take his pants off. I would kiss him a little bit in his belly button. You would piss in his belly button? Yeah, I'd kiss him in his belly button a little bit. I uh, would go down to his toes, kiss his toes a little bit. Oh, shit. Because he likes that. I don't know if y'all like that, but he likes toast shit. He's fucking weird as shit. He likes foot stuff. It fucking weirds me out, but I'd be willing to kiss his toes and slowly do my hands up underneath his armpits, tickle him a little bit. He's real ticklish. Maybe kiss on his nipple a little bit. Whoa. You say his nipple like he only has one. He only actually does have one nipple. I don't know if y'all know that. Wow. It's like a Burt defect. Uh, a lot of foreplay here with you and Red Yeah, Dan. it's a lot of foreplay. I don't know exactly what else to say. I've dug myself into a hole. <laughs> this is a mistake getting into this. <laughs> this is a bad mistake. It's, I don't think it was. I think it was hilarious. Yeah, I was wondering how yeah. far to take that. I was wondering about talking yeah. about his penis or my penis, but then it scared me, and I thought maybe it wouldn't be funny. And yeah, it's a it's a mistake. I, right, right. I never should have started. All right, William. Anything else crazy happened this week that we should know about? Uh, when it got real cold the other night, I have a fern out on the patio, and I brought the fern in. And out of my periphery, uh, I saw this black object. It turned out it was a bird. Uh, but it scared me to death when it flew out. And I'm glad I had my Crocs on or I would have broken my fucking toes on the side of my bed when I ran out of the fucking bedroom. Wait, wait there was... <laughs> wait a second. Wow, Red Who Man. did that fucking noise? One of y'all or him? Who Red, did that fucking noise? It, that was Red Band that did that to you. God. <laughs> God. Listen to the noise he makes when he gets mad at Red Band. <laughs> God. All right. Wait, so there was a... Hold on a second. There's a black bird in, in your house? Yeah, I was in the house for a couple of hours. I had my towels out trying to uh, to get it out of the, the balcony, try to get it out of the how room. Did it, how, did it get, how did it get in there? It was in the fern. It was living in the fern. It was a sweet oh, little finch. You brought a tree in that had a black bird in it. Yeah, a little fern. Okay. Where the fuck is she going? <laughs> I'm having the set of my fucking life right now, and some bitch is getting up to fucking walk off. What the fuck is going on? 
don't come back. Seriously, don't fucking come back. I'm sick of people getting up and leaving when I'm on the stage. I'm gonna have a fucking heart attack. That last part was true. I have to be really careful. William, you're a fucking icon. We love you so much. How about one more time for the great William Thank Montgomery, you. everybody? William Montgomery. Here he is. Wow, there he is. I was already on edge and Danny Brown just left, so my anxiety is through the roof right now. <laughs> KFC recently released Beyond Fried Chicken, which is chicken made out of plants. Not to be outdone, Taco Bell released thousands of rats that were held in captivity awaiting their cook date. KFC recently released Beyond Fried Chicken, which is fake chicken. Not to be outdone, Eminem started fake beef with a SoundCloud rapper to stay relevant. <laughs> My pussy's so tight, I use AirPods for double penetration. <laughs> I think watching porn as a teenager gave me an unrealistic expectation of how many handicapped people I would be having sex with. If the San Francisco 49ers go to the Super Bowl, it's good to know that win or lose, the fans will continue to loot, shit, steal, kill Asians, and destroy what was once a nice city. <laughs> That's all I got. Wow. Very good. William Montgomery. Doing it again. Beginning to end. Felt honest, felt real, well written, <laughs> completely executed, 100%. You did it again. How are you, William? And why are you wearing the world's longest orange shirt? I was actually gifted going? this shirt uh, from a nice man who does a Tennessee vintage store. And yes, it has turned out uh, way too long, but I'm under contractual obligation to wear it. So Wow. It is indeed look like you were uh, like you're one of those construction barrels. Yeah, it was they... a mistake. It was a mistake. Yeah. I'm under fucking contractual obligation by this motherfucker to wear this thing five times untucked specifically. Uh, so it's kind of bullshit. He specifically said untucked, and I was thinking to myself, what the fuck does that mean? And then I unwrap the shirt, and it keeps fucking going. And I'm wearing this fucking thing, and I look like a fucking clown. But I contractually have to wear it. I'm under contractual obligation to wear this fucking shirt. And I swear to God, I don't really want to. I have an obligation to wear this fucking shirt. And I swear to God, I don't really want to. What do you really want to do? Take it off. What fucking clown is in the fucking audience throwing me off? The set went all right. Now I got some dumbass in there trying to fuck my shit up up here. Please stop. I am on fucking edge right now. I wish I was kidding. I had three fucking Red Bulls up there before the start of this thing. That was a mistake. My chest is killing me right now. <sighs> William, if, if given the opportunity, if nobody else was around, what would you do to the guy in the audience that yelled at you? I would slowly bend him over a fucking toilet, get one of my fucking guns out, and shoot him right in between the butt cheeks. Right in the fucking asshole. Wow. Just slowly bend him down over the toilet. Say, hey, come into the stall with me. Let's do some drugs. And when he's bending over, just fucking do his butthole open and put my gun in there and start fucking shooting. Wow. How many... I don't give a fuck anymore. Wow. <laughs> I'm on fucking edge. <laughs> My chest hurts! No, it's really hurting really bad right now, so. What's hurting? My chest. I had three fucking Red Bulls up there, and it was a giant mistake. Right. And you haven't been doing cardio. You haven't been on your bicycle at all. We've been talking. Uh, I haven't. Right. 
and you're a little bit concerned about that because you've literally, for the last few weeks, you've been sitting around playing Grand Theft Auto and eating soup. Yeah, I started William making... William has a new crock pot that he's yet to really talk about on this show, but he talks about it pretty much continuously off stage, And uh, he makes <laughs> soup... <laughs> Why would you tell these people that? I just lost a bunch of fucking street cred. Holy shit. I had a whole bunch of street cred with everyone, and now I think it's fucking lost. But honestly, I made some wonderful pasta fajoule last night. (laughs) Seriously, it was to die for. I added some lentils. I started adding a bunch of lentils to my soup. I added some extra cups of water because I put so many pasta shells in there. It was to die for. Oh my god, absolutely incredible. And this is a real thing. So you have all these things, you're using the crock pot on a daily basis. We're talking about yeah. breakfast soups, lunch soups, dinner soups. Dinner, yes, and I've been having these horrible blowouts, which is... What type of blowout are we talking about? I, I sit on the toilet, I start pushing, it's some delayed spray noise. I don't know how that even fucking really? works. Really? I can't believe you have wet shits when all you eat is soup continuously. This yeah, is I, don't, I don't know either. How would it get solid? I fucking start pushing and there is a delayed spray noise. I don't even know how that works. There's a spray noise, it a fucking delayed, gets everywhere. A delayed spray. I'm trying... Like, I'll start pushing, and I think it's already coming out. It feels like it's coming out, but it's like this delayed spray noise into the water. Danny Brown, do you know anything about this? Um, I mean, what are you talking about? I mean, well, I'm a nigga. Trust me. That's it. That's it. That's it. No, we got air fryers. I'm a nigga. I've I've been thinking it the entire episode. I wasn't going to say anything. So I like soups and shit. Like niggas ain't really eating no soups. You know what I'm saying? But we got air fryers, you know what I'm saying? So that was like a, I mean, it's a healthier way for a nigga to eat. Cause me, honestly, I've been putting like everything in the air fryer. Like I, I mean, when even... you moved here, you weighed 180 pounds. <laughs> and now I'm 160. Sexy on these bitches. Oh, that is crazy what cocaine and Adderall can do, everybody. That is what <laughs> I'm, I'm upset about that because I moved here. <laughs> I moved here to stop doing cocaine in that row. Right. And Nowhere better to move to get off the drugs than Austin, Texas, everybody. Where no. literally 100% of the people are out here coughing Shut on the one fuck another. Up. Because I met a nice, beautiful woman. Oh. And she was able to keep me off the drugs. Mm. And now we're, I'm doing good. And now I've been eating bacon and eggs every morning. Wow. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> shouts out to them Southern Bells. You know what I'm saying? Let me hit it. All right, all right. Hold on a second, guys. We're going to hold oh, on a second. Oh, I had it. Uh, I had my, I you, love you, my were, beans. You were about to rap to the Kiss Me background no, music? Okay, let's it. do it again. Let's see what happens Oh, here. I got it. One of the great rappers of the world. Go ahead. Look, look, I love my bitch, cause she do my laundry, and when I fuck her, she don't really how me, she just say nigga, you doing some bullshit, and I be like damn, you right I'm on some bullshit, but I really love you, you are my loved one. I'm a real nigga. I done found a white girl in Austin. Now I move here and we together forever. I love my bitch. I really love you. I'm sorry if you're embarrassed by this shit, but I swear I really love you. I love my bitch. I love it. I'm a little bit mad you couldn't rhyme with penguin pussy, but it's okay. Uh, I love it. Uh, That was a freestyle. That was a freestyle. I love it. (laughs) My bitch, what? (laughs) She don't like butter. I love it. William, how do you feel about uh, being up here on this stage tonight? 
I'm very excited, and I will agree with Danny. Uh, my drug use greatly accelerated when I moved here. It turned into a very it dark true. hole. It, got, it is true. William hit bottom so fast that he got sober a few months after living here. Like, I had to stop Austin's doing it Austin's a great all. place. If you want to quit drugs, come here to hit bottom. <laughs> Don't quit here. It's not true, man. You have it's to not go, true. oh, you're definitely going to find sobriety here in Austin, Texas, Danny. You might not know it yet, but... We're your I've been friends. Doing good. We I've been doing are your good. friends, and we're literally planning your intervention right now. I texted, I texted your girl during the show, and I said we need to get him. <laughs> God damn it! It's rubbing off on me. Uh, William, I uh, I love you so much. You did it again. Love you too. It was fun. William Thank Montgomery, you. everybody. <laughs> William Montgomery. Here we go! Hey, Red Man, do the fart noise that Janice's pussy makes when we're fucking in y'all's bedroom, you bitch. If Red Man didn't use two fart noises tonight, I'd be... Can't do anything. It's not allowed. But it I was am. thirty What's seconds. Up? <laughs> that's a fun one. Squeezed fart. That's called. There's gentle fart. There. That is gentle. This is quick fart. Wow. <laughs> yep. No doubt about it. That is a quick fart. One more time for those of you that missed it. Incredible. Bad week for entertainment this week. We lost two big stars. Meatloaf died, and then Louis Anderson tried to eat him. I recently got into foreign films. Last night I watched Aladdin. The other day I got on Rap Genius and looked up the lyrics to the ABCs. This whole time I've been hearing EFG. Whoa, I was thinking that was going to go best out of all these tonight. I... My New Year's resolution is to use the internet less because I lost my thousand hours of free AOL CD. <laughs> also thinking that would go better. Uh, Washington, D.C. is about to get a new professional lacrosse team. To be more inclusive and reflect all lacrosse fans, they'll be named the Washington Whiteskins. <laughs> okay, that's it. One minute, nine seconds from the great. The vanilla gorilla. The big red machine. We've seen this before. The Tennessee Titan. How are you, William? What's going on this week with you? Doing good. I made a really good, uh, towards the end of last week, a really good spicy 15-bean soup. Oh, wow, yes. For those of you that don't know, William recently got a crock pot and has been eating exclusively soup. <laughs> Him and his girlfriend keep just making soup, breakfast, lunch, and fucking dinner. Breakfast soup and fucking this soup and that soup. Tell us more about the soups that you had yeah, this week. Yeah, so it was a spicy... How excited are you about this soup thing? I'm honestly very excited. It's been sort of a life changer for me, just making these soups out of the crock pot. I don't know who the fuck is talking over there, but you need to shut the fuck up. <laughs> Tonight I have a gun literally in my jacket pocket. Whoa, this is the first time we've... So heard... don't fuck with me tonight! We've heard of these unlicensed weapons that William has been gathering. He's been talking about it the last few weeks, uh, but normally you say that they're in the normally trunk of your they, car. Normally I leave them in the trunk. I thought I fucking week, bring them tonight. This week you went one step further, huh? You're fucking. You yeah, I thought I'd into an, a venue that serves alcohol with you. Yep, I don't really give a shit anymore. I, I literally, I was attempting to make the fifteen bean spicy chili. I fucking could only find like twelve of the beans. I couldn't oh. fucking, and oh. it really sort of threw a wrench in my plans. Wow. You, if you needed an extra bean, you should have just invited Michael Gonzalez over. Uh. That's a Hispanic joke, Michael. Yes. <laughs> Nobody puts a wrench in plans quite like a Mexican guy. <laughs> That's what I've always said. Yeah. 
Uh, so, William, you had uh, some bean soup. You had what appears to be 12 or 13 bean soup. Yep. And uh, what other soups have you had this week? You, name some of You love soup. Shit, I yeah. had uh, two nights. I had a really good uh, spicy bean chicken tortilla soup. Wow, still a lot of beans in this. Uh, I also had a pea soup. That one took like a day to prepare. It was a whole <laughs> bunch of peas in there. Wow, uh, pea soup. Who made them. that? R. Kelly? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this is one time just for this night, Austin, Texas. It's just us. It's just me and you. I'm kidding. No chance in hell. Ah, uh, I love it. So William, can you name a few more soups? Yeah, I mean, I also had a uh, an Italian wedding soup. That one was pretty good. I also made a classic chicken noodle soup. One of the nights. Wow. One of the nights I made a macaroni. It's kind of like a macaroni soup. I put too much milk in the macaroni. So it was like a macaroni soup. Had that a couple nights. That was really good. Milkaroni. Uh, yeah, it was like a milkaroni. Yeah, I was just making the regular macaroni, and then I fucking, I'm a, such a clumsy person. I poured way too much milk in there. It turned into like a macaroni soup. Macaroni soup. Wow, <laughs> I do believe that's what they uh, serve in hell. <laughs> So, Macaroni William, you've been eating a lot of soup. We get it. What are you, what are the, what are your bathroom uh, appearances like? Uh, quite frankly, I've not doo dooed in three days. Whoa, which doesn't make a lot of sense. I mean, these... I think it does. I think you're eating so much soup that you're just peeing everything out now. It's a liquid. Like, how would it even become a solid? Something's going on. It, it literally, it's scaring me to death. I haven't taken a shit in three fucking days. Uh, are there like, when you pee, do you see like pepper and meatballs and stuff coming out? <laughs> <laughs> even I couldn't keep a straight face on that one. This is such an immature episode of the show. Hey, William, when you pee, do meatballs come out? What? Like, yeah, I heard there's... myself say that. Dude. Yeah, there were some lima beans that came out after... I, that was one of the beans I, I was able to find. I did lima beans. that They were coming out of my thing. It was the weirdest wow. sensation. Uh, oh. And okay. I'm literally... I'm just trying to shit, and I swear to God, my stomach's hurt. It, it hurts right now. It's How hard as a fucking rock. How you think a bucket up here, and William should take his first shit in three days in front of all of us? In Tony, honor. I'm not kidding. I can't shit right now. Please don't make fun of it. I literally, I can't do it right now. I couldn't if I wanted to. Tell these people how bad you wish that you could shit. You're a very passionate guy. I wish more than anything I could take a shit right now, but I fucking can't. That's one of the reasons I brought a gun up here tonight. I'm going to fucking end it all if I can't shit. I'm sick of it. I'm not kidding about that. It is a horrible nightmare world is my reality right now. I literally, I don't know what to do. Uh, are you still doing the prune Shut juice? Shut the fuck up, dumbass. Yeah. Shut the fuck up. Are you still doing okay, the prune juice? Red, 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 Stop You it. sound so fucking stupid when you do that. It is incredible. I'm so excited to get an update on this poop thing of yours because I can't imagine a guy like you not pooping for three days. It's Much weird. like the gun in your pocket, you are fully loaded right now. I am. My stomach is hard as a fucking rock right now. Really? Yeah, can, it's hard I, as a can rock. Can I touch it? Yeah. <laughs> it actually isn't anywhere near as hard as I thought it would be. <laughs> it's incre incredibly soft. <laughs> In fact, if I knew nothing about you and I felt your belly, I'd be like, have you only eaten soup for three weeks in a row? That actually felt like a water bed or something like that. That is the opposite I of I thought hard. you were going to go along with that. I thought you were going to give me some street cred. And oh, say yeah. I hard as a, a rock over here. I was trying to flex my stomach when you did that. Yes. So. Hard as a rock made of water. <laughs> oh, shit. All right, William. Well, what else? Anything else that we're missing? On Wednesday, I did my first set, a 15-minute set without my note card. It was a big breakthrough. Wow. Wow. It took me since fucking 2007 to do 15 minutes without a fucking note card. Hey, I just got a text. Uh, our, uh, our guest, uh, whose flight was delayed, just landed in Austin, everybody. <laughs> yeah. 
What do you guys think? Should we keep it going until he gets here? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's how evil I am, is that I would even say that to you. There's no chance of that happening, but you win some, you lose some. You went to a big, crazy live show tonight. Did you guys have fun here tonight? Yeah. How about one more time for Thank the great you. William Montgomery, everybody? There he goes. The man, the myth, the legend. He's out there selling out shows, headlining his own shows. I mean, it's absolutely incredible. Selling out everywhere. This is William Montgomery. The only way to end an episode like this. The Red Goat. Come on, people, make some fucking noise. I got a bunch of hard hitters tonight, so let's see how it goes. Let's see how this first one. Don't blame me for this whole mess. I voted for John Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt. Neil Young says that if Spotify doesn't kick Joe Rogan off the platform, he's not going to let Spotify play his music anymore. Can you imagine never hearing Sweet Caroline again? <laughs> My buddy just got 5G on his phone, and he says the homosexual seizures aren't really that bad. If he stays in hiding, riddle me this. Have you ever seen Aziz Ansari and Justin Trudeau in the same place? <laughs> That's probably the best joke y'all have heard in here tonight. That means Justin Trudeau likes to dress up like an Indian person. That's why. I was a little worried. Everybody might not know what that meant. But that's the best joke y'all heard tonight. So you're welcome. All right, that's all I got. Thank you. There you go. <laughs> Closing with a little uh, little best joke of the night there, William Montgomery. <laughs> it's a tough position. You've debuted more minutes on this show than anybody in the history of the show. Wow. And there you are, just hitting, wow. hitting homers out here. Look at you, just referencing wow. topical things, just fucking... Out here talking about Justin Trudeau. I know. I'm seeing how far I can go. I'm also seeing how far I can stand up here without having to take a shit. I'm literally about to shit in my pants. I ate For two, those uh, of you that don't know, William got a new crock pot a few weeks ago, and he's been exclusively only eating soup for three weeks. Uh, and uh, I also got some uh, Raisin Bran. I actually got uh, two coupons for free Raisin Bran because I was eating f a fucking bowl of Raisin Bran the other night. And one of the grape pieces, like one of the hard pieces of grape stem was in it. And it you, almost you mean, fucking you mean tore the, my mouth apart. You mean the raisin? <laughs> yeah, what did I say? <laughs> you said grapes. Were there grapes in your Raisin Bran? Really old. Yeah, dry before grapes. the raisin turns into the raisin, it's a grape. I was meaning a grape. Uh, yeah, a grape stem. Wow. And I sent uh, Kellogg's an email, and they sent me two free uh, things of Kellogg's raisin brand. So things Whoa. are looking up actually. Finally, for the first Man. time in months. Wow. So you, you really got two free. I did. I got two coupons for free raisin brand. I love that because Kellogg's was probably like, holy shit. This is the first person who's ever complained about Raisin Bran. <laughs> yeah. I guess just send them some boxes of this shit, man. Yeah. Like, what? Yeah. You've never had this before. It's yeah, it, fuck it, it almost fucking destroyed my fucking mouth that night. I was eating, just watching television, and it was like a fucking spike in the goddamn bowl. I was pissed, and I fucking immediately got my little laptop out and sent Kellogg's a fucking email. Wow. Who was the raisin brand guy? It was like a sun with sunglasses. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Two scoops. Like there was that, the... that sun with sunglasses was sitting around a boardroom like, we can't <laughs> afford a lawsuit. <laughs> <laughs> Buy him off. Bar, 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 just send him two coupons. Bar, 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 bar. <laughs> he has soft teeth. <laughs> this idiot thinks there was a grape in his raisin <laughs> brand. Bar, 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 bar. Bar, 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 bar. I love it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah I tried they, to play that California off. They California Raisins as well. Raisin Bran used to have a rich history of uh, strong advertisement. And look at them now. Now they have you out here complaining on a live podcast. <laughs> a victim of grape. 
so you uh, got the? Did you cash in on these boxes yet? Yeah, I did today. You can only use one at a time. Whoa! So, so, there so is, next visit, I'll use the other one. There is a catch. Yup. Have you thought about perhaps uh, going to different cereals? Are you loyal to Raisin Bran? No, I need the fiber right now. I'm not kidding when I say I go fucking five days at a time without taking a shit. I need this fiber in my fucking life yeah, right now. Yeah, what we've now. learned is that if you only eat soup, all you do is pee. <laughs> I TT a bunch now. I really do, just all the time. You TT? Yeah, I TT a bunch. TT? Yeah, what do you call it? From your pee pee. Pee-pee? Yeah, it's a totally different letter. You call it pee-pee? I call it TT. Oh, no, you don't. Yeah, I call it TT. You call it pee-pee? Everyone calls it pee-pee. No, no, no. He, he, he's talking about... We don't about care about what you have to fucking say, Red Band. Shut up. Nobody gives a shit about whatever hey, the I'm fuck you're trying to explain to. Your... Shut the fuck up, Red hey, Band. I'm trying to explain your you kindergarten. You were so good tonight. Fuck Shut the don't fuck up. It's, no, it's bad podcasting if you yell back. All right. Uh, he's not, he's talking about his, God, the name of his Get him off dick. the stage! <laughs> he's talking about the name of his Somebody dick. get him off! Okay. Get his ass off! I'm sick of him being up here! <laughs> okay, my voice is starting to hurt. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> my voice, my throat is starting to hurt. Yeah, it's Uh-oh. probably from giving blowjobs, you bitch. Whoa. No, what the right fuck? There. Yeah, you little bitch. You little cock-sucking right, bitch. Right, right, Shut right, the right, fuck right. up. There you go. Your guys' fucking arguments are the weirdest thing I've ever been around <laughs> in my entire life. I'm new to this. Is this real right yeah, now? Yeah. Is this? They have a rivalry, and it really heated up a few weeks ago because William said, uh, let's make a truce. I don't want to argue anymore. And he put his hand out, and Red Band shook it. And William had one of those like things on his hand. And Red Band got so scared that he shuffled his gigantic <laughs> hips and broke the steel chair that he's sitting on. So he went, oh, like that. And it was the funniest thing ever. We all laughed so hard. Yeah. In the end, Red, 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 Red Band hasn't good. fully recovered. <laughs> <laughs> you looked like an idiot, Red Band. You know, you didn't. You didn't look like an idiot when you were trying to kiss me the week after he admitted right. Shut the fuck up! Trying to kiss me. All right. Why would How you even you think say they that? should give each other a big kiss? I, I, I would love it. Forever. Oh. Why don't you get, get over there? Let me get in there. Give him, give him one little peck. Here we go. The greatest moment in the history of the show. Oh, my God. Please. <laughs> so all right, all right, all right. This is literally the most retarded show. I can't believe we have actual sponsors. Yellow Rose, Red Rose, White Claw. I mean, anyway. Uh, so uh, how long have you been sober now? Shit, I don't know. Nine months, maybe. Nine months. Look at yeah. that. It's not a good thing. I don't know why y'all are clapping and cheering. Come on. It seems like you're having fun. Who needs alcohol when you have soup and raisin bran? You know what I mean? <laughs> he I mean, tasted like this, raisin bread, by the way. If this place <laughs> served soup and raisin bran, none of these people would be drinking. They would all be fucking... <laughs> yeah, drunk you would have just taken that raisin bran cut and forgot about it. What the so fuck are you talking too? about, dude? Stop. <laughs> William, don't yell at no, the I guests. Was, I was making an excellent point, yeah, by the way. Yeah, go ahead, Dave. This is a future U.S. You, president. Yeah, so respect the office. Uh, sober you had the wherewithal to get two free brands. I'm building you up, bro. Don't okay, well, like thank bands. you. <laughs> William. William, you are... I appreciate it. Oh, my God. You are a... Fire- Seriously, I appreciate it. Thank you. I messed up. I didn't know what you were going to say. <laughs> For those of you that don't know, William has two up. unregistered guns that he keeps around him at all times. Do you have any on you, or are they in your car tonight? I have one. You have one in your waistband right yep. now? Oh, my goodness. How exciting is this? Nine months sober, angry at Raisin Bran. No, I'm kidding. I know somebody's going to murder me after this. I, mean, I need to stop talking about the guns. It's something that keeps no. me up at night now. I think no. I made a, a really bad mistake continuing to talk about fucking pistols. Somebody's going to murder me. I have nightmares about it all the time now, so... I'm just kidding, y'all. I don't have a uh, gun on me. Wow. No guns. Actually, I do. <laughs> oh, there you go. There you go. Right when you think it's over, he pulls right, you Now down. this guy's scaring me. All right. 
Just for the record, I think it was fucked up the way Brian talked to you before. <laughs> cool, thank you. Thank Sorry, you. Sorry, dude, he's got guns. I've known you longer, but he's yeah. psycho. Yeah. What'd you just say? Huh? <laughs> no, the I was fuck saying, did you just say? No, dude, it's like a slang. It's like when the kids say, like, you know. No, like I know what it means, ass? and I know what you fucking said. <laughs> uh, William Montgomery. <laughs> If y'all found out Aphex Twin wrote the soundtrack to Jeffrey Epstein's suicide, you'd all be like, he's such a genius. <laughs> if Aphex Twin said Arbor Day was an inside job, you'd all be like, he's such a genius. <laughs> I have 20 more of these, so. <laughs> I hear Texas is banning books on race and sexuality, which is a good thing because I was getting tired of getting wet while reading Big Mama's House. <laughs> A lady claims she was getting she was gang raped in the metaverse. Ladies, remember the same rules apply in the metaverse that apply in real life. Don't wear provocative clothing. <laughs> okay, that's all I got. Wow. Wow. What a performance. <laughs> Two of the best jokes I've heard in a very long time. <laughs> that metaverse thing bangs, dude. Wow. Yeah, I mean, bitches have to learn. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck is going on. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I just don't know what's going on. That's... <laughs> William, an absolutely unbelievable performance. As always, 100% of the time, you know, you are one of the first people to move out here uh, and join Red Band and I and obviously Rogan and Elon Musk and all the other <laughs> biggest winners in the world. And, uh, <laughs> and you came out here and you were, you were getting fucked up every day and night. You were doing blow from morning, noon, and night. I you was. I missed those days a little bit. <laughs> I was having a bunch of fun. And then a little more than six months ago, you found sobriety, buckled down, and now you write freakishly great jokes every single week. Cool. Well, How does that you. make you feel? It's pretty good. I uh, had a great time this past week. I discovered a movie called, uh, what the fuck's it called? The Girl Gets Possessed by a Demon, The Exorcist. Have you ever seen The Exorcist? Wow. <laughs> That's you... a scary-ass movie. Did you... What, did you just get your first ever VCR? Yeah, I never library seen it before. Card? What'd you just say, Red Band? I said library card. Shut the fuck up, dude. These two do not get along whatsoever. William tried to shake his hand a few weeks ago, and he had one of those buzzer things on his hand. And Red Band's been pissed off ever since. His chair broke. He had no idea William was going to do it. He's like, okay, I'll shake your hand. And his hips shifted, and the chair broke. Yeah, lose the... some weight, Red Band. <laughs> Should have been a fucking sign. So then I fucked his girlfriend twice after Whoa. that. And he gets extra mad right. every time I fuck her. All right. Red she band, told me is... about that. I can't believe you would have done that to me. That is wild. It's easy to do. Wow. You guys have the weirdest rivalry of all time. <laughs> yeah. It is incredible. I love it. Uh, so, William, you have uh, you always talk about these unregistered handguns that you have. Um, have you been using those at all? Have you been using your unregistered uh, handguns with the VIN numbers removed? Yeah, I have. This past week during the, the freeze thing, I actually I was boiling water and putting the boiling water on my stairs to melt the ice, but that it only created more ice on the stairs, so I was trapped... I was trapped in my apartment for three wow. fucking days. You, you home alone to yourself? I home alone to myself. And then I dropped a box of thumbtacks at the bottom <laughs> of the stairs. The You'll never believe what happened next. <laughs> I fell down the stairs and the thumbtacks went into my skit. 
I was like, oh, frick, oh, frick, oh, frick, oh, frick. <laughs> yeah, it made him super slippery. So I was up in the apartment watching The Exorcist. I watched it like four or five times, and I was also uh, cleaning my guns. They, were, they needed a much-needed cleaning. They had gotten yeah. dirty from me shooting them all the time. <laughs> So gave them a good clean as I was watching The Exorcist. Man, I can't believe that girl got possessed like that. Have y'all seen that Wait, movie? do you think that was a documentary? <laughs> yeah, the girl got possessed <laughs> by a demon named Captain Howdy. Have y'all seen this movie? It is fucking so scary. That she crawls down the stairs backwards. That is so scary. And her head... It's her, because her... she put boiling water on the icy stairs. That's why she, <laughs> she was doing it for support. It's the only way. You can't fall if you're walking. All right. Uh, William, what else in your real life has been going on? I mean, you got frozen in. What have you been eating? It's always interesting to find out. You have a very, very interesting diet. At one point, you were addicted to raisin bread and then prunes. And for the last three or four weeks, you got a crock pot and you are addicted to soup. He's been eating soup seven days a week. I mean, imagine, people. What kind of soups I, did you eat this week? Well, I actually found a really good restaurant called BJ's Roadhouse, I think, and I have been eating the takeout from there nonstop. I had a big uh, pizza and spaghetti and meatballs last night. Pizza, spaghetti, and meatballs? Yeah, both of them. Wow. Yeah, it was pretty good. I had my first solid shit today and. <laughs> Right. Literally three weeks. I don't know if you knew this, but I, man, it's been a struggle. It just, the he shit splashes everywhere. It's really, it's really gross. Yeah, fair enough, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's really gross. I don't know why you look so deeply into his yeah. eyes when you said that. You yeah, it's super gross. There's shit all up under my toilet seat if I you lift it up. I that regardless, to be honest yeah. with you. You do have that kind of look, like you'd have shit on You the really would have guessed that? Yeah, yeah. You live alone. You know what I mean? You really would have guessed that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I really would have. Do you you would have been right. <laughs> <laughs> you would have been correct. I just can't believe you would have guessed that. He's, he's you like, really would have guessed that. I mean, you would have been correct, so it really doesn't matter, but I can't believe you would have guessed that. William, do you have a toilet brush next to your toilet? No chance. <laughs> no chance. Why would you say that? I mean, you're right, but why would you say that? How would you have guessed that? He has a good fucking eye for this shit, man. He's got his debut special out. It's already at half a million. Things blowing up. He's fucking... Nice. Me and this guy used to wait in lines together when the sun was still up in Los Angeles. We would wait in lines outside of places for them to open so that we could perform in front of each other. We were <laughs> three minutes. We were yes, like we would do three minutes in front of only each other because that's all the tickets that we could sell at the time. And then he would shit on my set, and that's how the show got started. That's true. <laughs> Akash was eating it, and I'm like, let's go. I think I think this could be something one day. Uh, but no, I mean, it's incredible to think that uh, it's wild 15 yeah. years ago. You've come a long way. William, how long have you been doing this? Uh, three years. <laughs> okay, well, I happen to know for a fact you've been on Kill Tony longer than three years, William. That was I'm the so answer of a crazy man. <laughs> I started, I started doing it in 07 in Knoxville, Tennessee, just getting real 15 drunk. 15 years ago? Yeah, I wasn't doing it that old time. There were some hiatuses in there. Really? Why were there hiatuses? What happened in your life? I don't know. I was living in New York City for a while. And you took a break from comedy when you moved to New York? Yeah. Wow. It's just brilliant, William. Really. I did. I've talked about it before, but I ended up living with a stripper named Darla in Spanish Harlem and drinking way too many Four Locos, so I had to... Would not have guessed Spanish Harlem. Had to stop. What were uh, you doing then with all your energy? God, what? I was just drinking a shit ton. I remember going to Coney Island and sucking on an African-American lady's bosom. <laughs> Up in the Ferris wheel. I went with uh, Darla the Stripper, and then, yes, they got me You to... were with an African-American woman on a Ferris wheel in Coney Island in New York, and you Correct. Uh, put her breast in your mouth? It just all in my fucking mouth, and I fucking loved it. <laughs> I felt fucking alive for the first time in my fucking life. Wow. 
It was special. I literally felt alive for the first fucking time in my fucking life. What did that black bosom exactly, how did it, what exactly did it feel like? I don't know. She had to uh, do it out of her shirt. What are you fucking doing, Red Band? I'm trying to open up and you're giggling over there like a little bitch. Sorry, your girlfriend's texting me pictures of her pussy. All right, all shut right. Shut the this... fuck up! Oh, he's getting mad, folks. Yeah, shut the fuck up, dude! <laughs> Tell us about the black bosom, William. Tell us about the black bosom. I just remember she flopped it out of her shirt and Whoa. my face was right there. You and say flopped like she was a slightly bigger girl? She was a bigger lady. Wow. And and risky, risky, risky Ferris wheel partner. <laughs> I hang, it was. My, I hang out with my lighter friends on the fair, so I'm like, Akash, you're with me. <laughs> <laughs> so you're on a Ferris wheel. How'd you end up with a big black woman? I cannot picture you with a big black You know, when Liz said she fucks uh, black guys, I'm like, Durr! but <laughs> you with a black woman, I just can't picture it at all. Yeah. Even D Madness cannot <laughs> use his <laughs> ultra powerful imagination to picture you with a black woman. <laughs> <laughs> but it happened, huh? On a Ferris yeah, wheel. Yeah, it, it happened. Let me I ask know. you this: when you're, when the, when the, when the, when the beautiful black bosom of this woman is in your mouth, and you're going around on a Ferris wheel, do you take it out when you guys go to normal level where like the kids are waiting and stuff, or is there just a fucking what appears to be a guy that drives an eighteen wheeler uh, <laughs> with a yeah. black breast in his mouth? I took it out when she looked at me and said, "Who the fuck are you?" <laughs> No, I'm kidding. We, had, we were friends. That part's a lie. We had gotten to be buddies. We met on the beach. We were all drinking on the beach. Okay. Yeah, it was a really cool time. It was a real special time. I kind of regret telling this fucking story because it hasn't <laughs> been funny at all, and that I feel great. like I'm bombing up here, no, it's and I kind of just want to get my fucking guns and clean them a little more, put the fucking Exorcist back on. I'm going to watch that fucking movie How again tonight. How much do you love The Exorcist, William? I fucking... Love the fucking exorcist. Tell us how much you love it, William. Tell this audience. I swear to God, there's a chance tonight I'm going to watch that fucking movie two or three times, and it's a long fucking movie, and I'm going to fucking love it. Oh, shit. <laughs> Nobody's going to tell me to stop watching The Exorcist. Not even my fucking mom. My mom hates that I'm watching it. She's a big believer in Christ. She hates that I'm watching The Exorcist. She thinks that it's bad energies, that you're yeah, even watching a movie stuff. about a possession? Totally. It's dangerous. It could be dangerous for me. That's what she thinks, and I tend to His agree with her. mother is a good Christian woman in Memphis, Tennessee, uh, and I actually believe that part of this story. You told your parents that you were watching The Exorcist, and they, yes. they're like, William. My mom freaked out. Really? What oh, yeah. What did yeah, she yeah. say? Just you don't need to be watching that garbage. It opens up the but devil. But what are you going to watch tonight? The fucking exorcist. And she's <laughs> not going to fucking stop me. It's weird. It's like I can't stop watching it. What's your favorite part? Oh, man. <laughs> it's a stupid question. I immediately regretted <laughs> asking it. You caught me. I actually haven't been watching the exorcist. <laughs> I just thought that would be a funny angle. <laughs> You busted me. <laughs> we did it again. That's another episode of Kill Tony. That's William Montgomery, everybody. Here we go. This is it. I think I give those dumb asses maybe two years tops. What the fuck? <laughs> That was the saddest fucking thing I've ever seen. Oh, wow, will you look at that? Dear God, it's fucking Valentine's Day. Imagine writing a script you thought was good and then you're told Queen Latifah will be starring.
I recently started taking a weed Viagra. Only problem is whenever I smoke it, my eyes get hard. Joe Biden is about to distribute crack pipes to impoverished communities. So did Hunter Biden win a bet or something? (laughs) Hey, Dad, I bet I can bang my dead brother's widow. Son, I bet you would never stoop as low as to bang your dead brother's widow. I'll bet anything. Anything? Yes, anything. (laughs) Free crack pipes for America! Okay, thank you. William Montgomery, everybody. That's what it looks like. The Juggernaut, the Big Red Machine, the Vanilla Gorilla, the Memphis Strangler. The Memphis Strangler, that's a real one. They connected me with three fucking bodies in Memphis. I was strangling these women under this bridge. The Memphis Strangler. How did you know about that one, Tony? I was, I was just guessing. <laughs> I, I, I just decided to add a brand new nickname right then. I had no idea that I would have guessed correctly. The Memphis Strangler. So, let, so let's talk about it. How many women did you strangle underneath the bridge in Memphis? It was three. Right. Was this all at once? Was this spread over time? It was one October. Oh. oh. <laughs> yeah, it was, in a, it was in October. I was having a pretty bad month. Wow. It was close to Halloween, and yeah, I just started strangling these women underneath this bridge. Wow. Incredible. October. I, yeah. Wow. Hey, and also, I just have to say, Red Band, I got this really cool ring for Valentine's Day. Do you want to see it? <laughs> well, hey, I got this uh, uh, thing of potato chips for you, and I was hey, wondering if you could help me open this. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, what, 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 you, what, what's going here, on? Here, look at my you? ring real quick. <laughs> You guys are so stupid. <laughs> Don't fight, so dude! I told you I didn't want snakes up here! <laughs> this is the dumbest show ever. I, I fucking told you specifically not to bring the snake and the fucking Pringles can, you dumbass. How this show is sold out months in advance, <laughs> I have no idea. It doesn't really make any sense. It's a water ring versus a fucking Pringles snake. <laughs> I mean, we are basically... (laughs) And you're dressed up like a righteous gemstone. (laughs) (laughs) What the fuck am I doing here? That's the question. (laughs) I deserve that. I did wear this tonight. William Montgomery, you have two unlicensed guns, is that correct? Correct. And uh, what have you been doing with those? Have you been doing anything with those lately? Oh, my God. I have been shooting them off. Uh, down. There's a little, one of those areas that water collects when it rains. It, it's sort of, uh, what is that, like a, some sort of sewer thing above ground. Uh, it has like three walls. I'll just go walk in there and just fucking shoot the bullets off of those walls. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Damn, that sounds like you actually do that. <laughs> the way you described that, because it's not really anything. <laughs> yeah, I honestly, I got way too high before this. I have been on the verge of panicking when this water didn't squirt oh, red shit. band right on the fucking face. Jared smoked some of that fucking stutter butter with you? Is that what happened? <laughs> he did. He was up there passing around the blunt. I smoked it. Uh... I've been trying to fill up this fucking thing. It broke in my fucking hand. I bought this fucking thing for $75. You bought the water releaser thing for $75? 75 bucks off of Amazon. It shouldn't fucking break in my hand like this. Wow. It's bullshit. And that ring, what's up with the ring that doesn't even fit on your finger all the way? (laughs) I know. I had to improvise up there when I was really high, panicking about this fucking set, and then the people got fucking married. God, what about that? (laughs) What about that? I wonder how long they'll be married. (sighs) If you're wondering, like, I knew that that part was going to happen, so I had to actually make the decision, do you do that before William, or does it go William and then that? And I made the right decision. Uh, you got to 
You got to be the bad bad cop and come in and acknowledge that the relationship would only last two years. <laughs> But they have children. I think it might actually work out. Where are they? You guys believe in it, right? Look at that. And that was an actual bones eye joke book this guy pulled out of the fucking uh, the ring out. And of. y'all, I'm totally kidding. I swear to you, I'm totally kidding. I wish y'all the best of luck. You know what, William, I think it just, was a really good idea. Just for I'm, making fun of them, I think you should uh, officiate their wedding. What do you guys think about that, huh? <laughs> I'll fly you to wherever they live and you go out there. You have to spend the day with this fucking, these fucking, these fucking. Are y'all cool with that? Are y'all cool with that? There you go. Is that devil horns you just fucking did up? It's going to be a good gig for you, William. I'm pretty sure they're in the cartel business. So (laughs) they might use you as a drug mule. William, I mean, you came up here and you, every single week, somehow, uh, whether it be just your natural talent combined with your, the way that you're living life, combined with you finding sobriety six months ago, this whole thing is a real storm because your jokes hit so fucking hard every single week and you're going up after everything. It's the hardest spot and uh, you do it every week. It's incredible. Cool. Well, thank you so much. William Montgomery, everybody. Shut the fuck up. What's already going on? If y'all found out Aphex Twin threw a bunch of Bitcoins in the ocean, you'd all be like, he's such a genius. I got a bunch more Aphex Twin jokes. I've been doing it three weeks in a row now, in case y'all didn't realize. Before I got on stage, I saw images of explosions along the Ukrainian border. Oh, wait, no, that was just your brain after listening to an Aphex Twin mixtape. Neil Young's protest of Joe Rogan was such a complete failure that he was quietly snuck back onto Spotify. Thank God. I can't wait to listen to Cracklin' Rosie. That's a Neil Diamond song, for those that don't know. In boxing news, Alex Jones is considering fighting Logan Paul. His finishing move is the Sandy Hook. The Biden administration has appointed a man who sodomizes other men dressed up as dogs to be their nuclear waste expert. You should never judge a book by its cover, but the cover of this book is a man banging a dog. Okay. Wow. Did it again. An unstoppable force, the great William Montgomery with another new minute and 15 seconds of stand-up comedy. So nice to be here. I bought this uh, get up on eBay and uh, they specifically said it matches. The sweatshirt is a shade fucking darker than the sweatpants. Whoa. I feel like a fucking idiot. I'm walking around like this. The fucking sweatshirt is a shade darker than the fucking sweatpants. I feel like a fucking idiot. What do you want to do to those people that lied to you on eBay? Well, I've already sent them. I've actually been messing around making these things. I guess people call them pipe bombs. I've, uh, <laughs> I have a special delivery uh, for a man in India. It's, a pi- it's like an explosion. Like He'll open up the box, and it's supposed to blow up uh, in his fucking face. So we'll see how it goes. <laughs> I don't know if y'all noticed, but the fucking sweatshirt is a shade darker than my fucking sweatpants. I feel like a fucking idiot. The sweatpants are a shade lighter than my fucking sweatshirt. I spent $2,000 on this fucking getup. $2,000? I feel like a fucking idiot. How stupid do you feel exactly? Like a fucking idiot. I gotta step in here. Uh, Eddie Murphy on Delirious, 
his red jacket is way more red than his red leather pants. So I think you're in good company. I don't fucking even know what that means. <laughs> oh, it wasn't matching. Oh, that's what you mean. Oh, it wasn't matching correctly, is what you're saying. Yeah, that's okay, what you're I talking get it. about, right? Okay, I get it. You're talking about the top <laughs> is darker than the bottom, right? It doesn't, it, yeah, it doesn't match. Okay, I understand yeah. what you said. <laughs> okay. Because that's kind of what I'm I doing. Thought... And you said Eddie Murphy has the same deal. I get what you said. Okay. I'm trying to help, help you out. I'm trying... I know, thank you. <laughs> I do appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. I'm sorry. I've started working out. I did uh, 70 fucking, 70 floors on the Stairmaster earlier, and I had to get off because I got dizzy and my chest started tightening up. Oh, that's, that's right. That's a true story. I that's thought I was right. having a heart attack. Oh, yeah. You got vaccinated. You're the only cast member that's vaccinated on the entire show. Am I, am I correct? Do you think it has something to do with that? I was on the Stairmaster for 70 fucking floors today. That's a lot. I have no... Co I want this episode to say on Spotify, so uh, I'm going to say... <laughs> no, it totally doesn't have anything to... Your chest pains have nothing to do with that barely experimented vaccine. I mean, they made it in four months. I'm sure it's fucking <laughs> perfect. It's great. I hope it has nothing to do with it. Yeah, no, no way. Do you really think it has something to do... You had chest do? pains before w when working out, during the before you had the vaccine, right? Back when you used to... Cycle lot? I've never had chest pains never. like this. Oh, wow. That's crazy. So the first times that you're working out since taking the vaccine, you're getting dizzy and having chest and pains? And now my chest hurt. Fuck, I didn't put together those things. <laughs> I didn't put that together. Well, <laughs> at least you're safe. At least you're safe from whatever. I Just love uh, it. Write a letter to Bill Gates or whatever and ask him. What about Bill Gates? Doesn't he have something to do with the vaccine? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> write a letter and just say, hey, is these vaccines safe and effective or not? Be real. Okay. I'll write him a letter. I'll write him a letter. So, William, you have two <laughs> unregistered guns. Uh, what have you been doing with those since last week, since we saw you last? I have started doing this fun thing. I shoot the... I get up on the roof of my apartment, and I shoot them up in the air, and... I try to time it or do it right so the bullets fall down and hit the roof, but I, I'm able to avoid them. So you try to shoot so straight up in the air that the bullet actually lands on the roof? Yeah, really close to me. Does, that, does, that, does it ever hit you? No, it hasn't yet. Wow. You have to be a really good shot. I don't know if you understand how difficult that is. I shoot them up in the fucking air and they fall around me up on the, up on the roof. How happy does it make you when you're doing that? It's pretty fucking exciting. I've had uh, had kind of a rough fucking week, so it's been... What, what's, what's so rough about it? Other than the famous shirt being darker than the pants, uh, what else? <laughs> well, that's been a real nightmare. I, uh... Why is that fucking funny? What the fuck is going on up here? Am I in the fucking toilet? And what's up with your fucking laugh? I just hear you cackling down there. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Holy shit! Be nice to him. That's a do you hear this guy? I do. I do. Very distracting. William, be nice. That's a famous local rapper of the weekday. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you to my black friends. They all like that joke. Thank you. Represent. I was born and raised in an all-black neighborhood. I'm friends with Snoop Dogg. We FaceTime once a week. No big deal. It's just the kind of... I'm friends with D Madness. Um, I don't know if y'all know this. All right, William. You are an absolute star. Anything else we need to know about? Anything you're passionate about this week? Shut the fuck up! Someone yelled raisin bread. Yeah, whoever fucking said that knows that I was just lying to everybody. I don't fucking eat raisin bread. I never fucking did. I was lying to everyone, and everybody fucking bought it. Everyone fucking believed me, and I was fucking lying to everyone. Wow. How does it make you feel when you lie to everybody? Fucking so just excited, pumped. I love lying to people. What else do you lie about? 
Oh my god, what else do I lie about? Okay. What else do I lie about? Yeah. It's a tough question. What else do I lie about? Yeah. Seriously? Yeah, I want to know. Why are you shaking your head, Red Bean, you dumbass? You look dumber than ever over there. <laughs> Red Bean. Red Bean. With your little arms crossed across your giant gut like that? You look like a real dumbass tonight. No, you be nice to him. Look at him. He's a, he has a vitamin... Red Bane, I was kidding. <laughs> he has a vitamin D deficiency, William. Be nice to him. Red Bane, I was kidding. Red Bane, seriously, I was kidding. Why are you acting sad? Why don't you guys... Why don't you guys... Oh, I've never Red seen... Red Bane. I've never seen Red Bane so Dude, sad Dude, I before. was kidding. Red Bane... <laughs> Red Band, you know I love you, man. You know I was kidding. Please look at me, Red Band. Whoa. Red Band, look at me. You wouldn't like re Red Bean when he's angry. Red Band's eyes are watering right now. They are. Red Band, I was kidding, dude. It is incredible. Is there a tear? Let me turn your head. Oh, my God. Wow. There's an actual tear. Stop. This is, this is the first time Red Band's ever lost water weight, everybody. It's exciting. <laughs> This is how this is how Red Band diets. The cry it. Red Band, I seriously I was kidding, dude. Stop. Red Band is for those of you just listening to the podcast, for the first time in the show's history, he is legitimately crying right now. He is fully committed like an artist. I like to think that he's thinking about perhaps the coming dust joke that he made earlier about the, <laughs> about the virgin. That that's how he references these tears. <laughs> <laughs> That's William Montgomery, ladies and gentlemen. We did it again. Another unbelievably fun episode of Kill Tony. All right. You, you guys ready for one last comedian? You ready to do this? One last one. This is it. And it's a position reserved for greatness. Ladies and gentlemen, this young man and I just spent an entire weekend together in Michigan. That shit sounded real for sweet. Me doing 30 minute long sets. <laughs> Absolutely crushing. He's headlining all over on his own. He's opening for Joe Rogan. Make some noise for him. It's the Big Red Machine, William Montgomery. Live in the flesh in Austin, Texas, on the number one live podcast in the world, Gil Tony. Shut the fuck up. Keep your fucking mouth shut! Uh, 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 uh. Sad news today, Rick Moranis admitted to feeding child actors cough syrup while on a set of a new movie he's working on. The movie's title, Honey, I DJ Screwed Up the Kids. Black History Month. I love how Russia's like, hey, we used to own Ukraine. Okay, cool. I used to own Beanie Babies, but I'm not going back to my parents' house in Memphis to dig them out of the backyard. <laughs> my maid has pink eye again, which sucks because now she'll probably stop licking the toilet clean. I have a new game show idea. It's where we immediately give the minority female the winning prize and dare the white contestants to question how the game works. God damn. God damn. That is how you do it. I, s I said it to Moses when you got up here, when you were a few seconds in, I go, well, this guy is every fucking week, like Mike Tyson in his prime, just comes up and does a brand just new Just raping. <laughs> well, all right. Uh, thank you, Moses, for that momentum, <laughs> that extra boost there. Uh, yes. Yeah, why would you bring yes. that up? <laughs> why would you bring that up? You know yes. I'm dealing with something at the moment. Why the fuck would you bring that up? Black History Month. William. That, that was black history that happened. Mike Tyson raped a girl. That was black history. Goddamn, right. Moses. <laughs> we'll get up to Mike 
Tyson thing. Uh, William, another great set. How's it going? How do you feel? Fresh off Feeling of, good. Fresh off of a long weekend together in Michigan. We did four sold-out theaters together. When y'all first said that long weekend in Michigan, I thought y'all had a gay relationship. Yep, that's true. We went to, we went to Michigan together, so we're basically gay. <laughs> Uh, we're basically I mean, y'all, boyfriends. You was like, we had a long weekend together. I was like, damn, I'm about to congratulate you niggas on some <laughs> shit being together, you know? That's it. Can that's be- sweet of you that you thought that that's what it was. I was honestly kind of hoping that's what it would uh, end up being. <laughs> on the flight back, I was like, this seemed like a really good weekend. When is Tony going to like bring something up about how he had a really good time, about how he wants to do this again? I don't know. I was... It never fucking happened, but I was, I really was. I mean, there were some times when we were eating dinner and our eyes would lock and. I like eye contact. I know, it was good. You had that bad French onion soup, though. I did. I had bad French onion soup for the very, that's what I said. You can't fuck that up. I said, you can't fuck up. I was literally telling William, I go, this is crazy. I, I eat French onion soup any chance I get. I've never had bad French onion soup before until now. Grand Rapids, Michigan. Congratulations. There you go. You're from a place that can fuck up the unfuck upable. I mean, it literally four of the worst meals that I've had in two years. I swear to God, I had this week. We had, right? Yeah, and I'm horribly embarrassed. He's saying that at the shows. Yeah, this and the, is and the audience was cracking up. They're like, yeah. we know our food sucks. It was the most depressing shit ever. What'd you I eat? Know. Wait, wait, you think that's bad? At the restaurant at the hotel. And Try it to looked fucking nice, water and it was it. nice, and it should have been nice. And the yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? Sucked. Just like a motherfucking white man to complain about some bad food in Michigan. What about the water in Flint, motherfucker? Nigga! I mean, that's what I said. You talk about some, you talk about some bad food, some bitch! Bad yeah, what's up, what what's up with the water in Flint? What about the water? What's up with the water in Flint? Yeah! I'm with them! I was about them. to say it. I'm with them and I'm on Twitter and my t- pronouns are he, him. <laughs> Free Joe Rogan! Free Joe Rogan. He's very serious. He's as free Free as my again. nigga. Okay. He's, he's free. He's free. <laughs> he's I'm so already free. Just <laughs> relax with that part. <laughs> yeah. He's free. 12 just, years of Rogan. Sure. Just a lot of ads. I love it. So, William. I'm free, but there's a lot of ads. <laughs> <laughs> there's, that, that deserved more. <laughs> yeah, that was great. Uh, so, William, let's talk about it. Fresh off the weekend, what else is going on in life? No, what was the fucking food, bitch? What? What, what kind of food? It was, uh, everything sucked. It was, uh, we, I also had a bad flatbread uh, pepper and onion, or uh, uh, sausage and pepper pizza. Cheesecake what else factory, did we have basically. that sucked? We had more bad food. Oh, at one point they told us that uh, they gave us the old uh, come on down for breakfast thing, and William's like, that sounds good. Can we do that? I'm excited <laughs> about that. Like he was like so excited about breakfast the night before. I'm like, sure, dude. I'll wake up before eleven to fucking go to the hotel lobby with you. And we get down there, and they fucked us on breakfast. Yeah, they it was bullshit. Us. There was no breakfast at all. It was literally order your own breakfast and pay for it. Yeah, you had to fucking pay for it. That wasn't Which, what they basically told us the fucking day before. It was so much bullshit. They tried to sell it. It was a fake breakfast, which I don't care about. You know, I have vast sums of Texas economical money. (laughs) However, don't tell us there's breakfast if there's not breakfast. I could have came down. I know I could come down to the restaurant and buy breakfast. That's what white people call a continental breakfast. (laughs) What about, nigga, what, you got to pay for it, but it's going to be donuts and cheese. I am what? so confused. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Breakfast. Hold on. <laughs> but they want you to pay, and you're like, this is outrageous. Well, no, you, like when you it go to a hotel, worse, William, breakfast. and then what happened? Not only do we have to... I don't pay for breakfast. I'm right. Tony fucking Hinchler. No, listen. Listen, Joe, it gets wait, better. Wait, wait, wait. You want me to come down for breakfast? And I come down for breakfast. You want money? What the fuck? That too, but it gets worse. What the fuck? Now it gets worse. I William? want a croissant for free. William? Where the fuck are my egg whites? <laughs> are you waiting for me to say William? Before I want a something? sausage biscuit for free, I, bitch. That's what they fucking said. I traveled to Wisconsin on Southwest. Wisconsin. 
<laughs> Where the fuck is my food? West, damn, I'm on free food. They're not all the same, Jim. Was you A group or B group? <laughs> they don't all look the same. All these great. Where's Wednesdays. my Minnesota casserole? Whatever the fuck you're eating. <laughs> Minnesota casserole. <laughs> I want my Michigan fried eggs. Whoa. Where's my free food, bitch? Oh my God! CNN was right about you. You know that. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, listen. My net worth they just went down 50%, right. they everybody. They were mostly right. They were mostly right. But let's be honest. <laughs> Don't pretend you're 100% correct. Thank God for that pillow. <laughs> William, am I missing anything? What else? Uh, it was, I remember it was just freezing cold. That first green room we were in, it was in a yeah. tiny concrete room. Yeah, and it I was weird to, because... Y'all we niggas is really describing a date. <laughs> <laughs> we really <laughs> it was that really frozen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is this guys we yeah, fucked? Right. This? Yeah, this was really Can on we a hear Riders on a Storm while they, while the, they described this? We need a little bit of Riders on the Storm for this. Riders on the Storm. There's only Riders one way to on the slowly storm. close out dum, an episode dum, dum, like this. Dum, dum. And it Riders is... Riders on the storm. Just seven dum, more minutes. Dum, Red dum, Band's going to have it. Into this he's house we're born. He's a... He's it's a, it's a, hell, man. He's a magician <laughs> on the storm. storm. Oh, shit. Is that a thing? Like, like a dog right? without a bone. No, 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 nigga know this song. What the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? Like a dog with that. Red Band, just play sing the it. fucking song! Sing it, William, sing it! Sing it! What song is this? The Doors! Aw, oh, man. Which is what everybody wants to head to right now. Fuck uh, that, nigga. No, I'm kidding, I'm joking. We have the after party after this. Where Ellis is it? Bullard's, Where'd it go? Ellis Bullard's. Keep point. going. You could at least play. Hold on, time out. Cut. Hold on, band, 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 band. Come on, come on. Hey, band. Riders on the storm. Yeah, William, get it. God damn. That's Riders what you want to play? Riders on the storm. William, sing that. that shit. Like a dog without a bone, a uh, actor out of luck. Riders on the storm. Okay. Riders on the storm. Hell yeah. He only knows this one verse. Riders on the storm. Sing it. Look at that lady right there. Look at that lady. Riders She's like, I'm on not the fucking storm. buying this at all. She's like, hell yeah. Damn. <laughs> no right. nigga in America know that song. Complete chaos. Did you guys have fun tonight? Uh, How about a hand for William Montgomery, huh? The man, the myth, the legend. This guy's coming for everybody's job. The hilarious William Montgomery. Oh, shit. Here he comes. Come on. How loud can this place get for the great William Montgomery? I just found out that before God goes to sleep at night, he gets down on his knees, bows his head, and prays to Aphex Twin. <laughs> Due to the war in Ukraine, Paramount Pictures will no longer release the movie Sonic the Hedgehog 2 in Russia. I bet if the Russians could go back in time, they'd bomb Ukraine right before the release of Sonic the Hedgehog 1. Say what you will about Operation Dumbo Drop, but I think it was an inside job. <laughs> I'm so desperate for a development deal, I'd break into prison to suck Harvey Weinstein's dick. <laughs> Joe Biden recently gave a State of the Union speech. The worst part is that he said it to ska music. <laughs> okay, that's all I got. All right. 57 seconds from William Montgomery. What was that first joke? I'm trying to understand. Did you say Aphex Twins? What did you say? Aphex Twin. It's a, he's a wonderful artist. This guy gets it right here. Aphex Twin. And what is that? What kind of art is that? He does music. Okay. By round of applause, be honest. How many of you knew who Aphex Twin was? <laughs> Interesting.
Yeah, I just keep saying it every week, hoping people laugh, but I feel like nobody knows who Aphex Toy does. That's part of the joke, I think. That's what I'm going for. What kind of music does he do? Who the fuck said bullshit? Yeah. Oh, look at him hiding behind his girlfriend. I see who did it. Oh, shit. Yeah, who the fuck said that? Was that you, you piece of shit? Am I looking right at you? I think it's coming from the table. That Am I looking right at you? Who the fuck said that? Yeah, it was you. I bet it was you. Oh, shit. They lit them up. They got them all lit up there. Joe, get a picture of this shit. Look at Joe White just standing there doing nothing. I happen to love Aphex Twin, you piece of shit. Let me have a little fun. And I keep telling these jokes, and they never get laughs, and I'm always scared to look over at Tony after an Aphex Twin joke because he never seems to laugh. Yeah, I have no idea what you're thinking. (laughs) It's so unorthodox (laughs) to make references that people literally don't get. (laughs) But with so much charisma and likability like you have, you could pretty much literally fucking say anything, and uh, people laugh. It's impressive. Okay, well, I'll try to adjust that. I won't tell any more Aphex Twin jokes. Yeah. I, a lot of people seem, it seems like a very controversial subject. It's like everybody's split. It's like the OJ trial or something like that. <laughs> All right, I'll William. figure it out. Uh, what, what, what else? Is that true? Did you try to break into the prison to suck Harvey Weinstein's dick? I looked up which prison he was in, and I immediately realized, logistically speaking, it would be very difficult. Yeah. So... No doubt. No doubt. I do know a guy that's going to the Northeast soon, so uh, I do know. <laughs> <sighs> William. So what else is going on in the world of William Montgomery, the wild world of William? Well, I made some pasta fajoul earlier. Whoa. Um, now, Tom Papa famously makes his own bread. Uh, Tom, uh, William recently got a crock pot, and he's been making a lot of different soups. He's been... Yeah, I made a really good pasta pot. I have to shit so bad right oh, now. Well, I know yeah, I always talk about shit, but it finally, I've been a couple of days. I think all the fiber I put in there, all the beans, it's making me need to shit right now. Jesus. I don't know good. if it's that or just looking at Red Band's stupid fucking face. Oh. <laughs> Tom, what do you think? What did you just oh. fucking say to me? I said, I don't know if I have to yeah. shit because looking at your stupid face or all the fiber in the fucking thing that I made earlier. Good thing you have a crock pot. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, William, I'm, I'm not going to let you and Red Band have one of your arguments. Don't do that. Don't yeah, do that. don't That's do a that. Bad idea. That's That'd a be bad a big idea. fucking mistake. I've started working out. See it? See how it hit that lady? You see how your piece of ice hit that lady? So remember right before when I told you that's going to be a big mistake? You fucking. Yeah, that was a big <laughs> fucking mistake, Red Man. It was. It was a big mistake. <laughs> he just sw- That was a big fucking mistake, you dumbass. Yeah. He just <laughs> it really was. His throwing arm yeah, is the same. Yeah, stand up. <laughs> stand up. William and Red Band have a rivalry. <laughs> Will, Will, Will. It's very uncomfortable because I feel like he's staring at me when he's yelling at Red Band. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, oh, I got oh, your Red ass. Band. Red Don't band. fucking Don't throw it back that. at me. Red band. Red band, you're so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> wow. This is a little... No. Stop it, you guys. Red band, go to Red the band, bathroom. Red band, I was kidding. <laughs> Didn't you say you had to go to the bathroom? No, I saw what was in his hand, so I was trying to get out of the situation oh. for you, but then I just had to throw a lime on his dick. God. You hit my inner thigh. That you actually guys are kind of literally the hurt. worst improv troupe I've ever <laughs> seen in my entire life. I have to shit. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> There's a lime in your ass. <laughs> I can't believe we saved this for the end of every episode. It doesn't really make any sense. Here he is, one of the stars of the show. I ain't past to be shoot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> I do. Aphex twin. <laughs> okay, I will, I will work on that. I've been trying. I think I've done like 20 Aphex twin jokes in the past month. Yeah, no, I know. I know. I've watched them all. <laughs> I've been right here. Uh, okay, William, uh, you're out there. You're killing. Everything is going good. You've been doing the road with me a bit. How's that been? 
That was fun, aren't I? I think I'm going somewhere with you uh, this weekend. I'm we very excited. Indeed. We're going to Raleigh, North Carolina together, you and me. I sit next to I sit right next to William on airplanes. We wait in lines together. We eat <laughs> breakfast together. It's all very bizarre. He keeps things very interesting. There was a time on our first flight uh, from here to Dallas, you were asleep, and I, I laid my head on your shoulder for probably five minutes. Really? Yeah, you didn't know. Wow. Were you doing it to be funny? or No, to be sweet. I was, I was oh. there to he is, he's a sweet let you boy. know I'm on your side, that I'm, I'm, here, I'm down for the cause, and yeah, you had no idea you were sleeping. I would have enjoyed, I would have enjoyed that. Really? If I would have woke up and your head would have been there, I would have loved that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very, 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 like, uh, content. Is that the word? <laughs> like, I, I'm not, like, uh, homophobic at all, if you know what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're going to come back from this weekend. I'm just going to have red pubes stuck in my teeth. You guys are going to know. Fire mouth hinge cliff over here. <laughs> Wrong laptop. She's still in hotel. In she location. doesn't have it. What does she do? Oh. She brought the wrong. She doesn't laptop. have it. Oh my but god. But maybe uh, we could talk to her and have her send it to me. So if you watch this episode, we'll put it in in the uh, right here. You have twenty saved messages. Saved message. Yeah, it might be right here. But it would be, yeah. All right. Well, God damn it. What can I say? Wow. Maybe we should. You just think she's reenact. lying? Maybe, maybe we should just she's reenact lying. what we think the sounds are like on the thing. William, why don't you uh, give us a little example of what you think the audio from the voicemail <laughs> that we'll never get to hear sounds like? Well, this will be fun because I wasn't listening. I have zero idea. Do what it even the voicemail do could an impression even be. that makes it even better. Trust me. So we want you to do an impression of the voicemail that her ex boyfriend left her while he was at work. Go ahead. Hey Kim, uh, <laughs> I'm w- looking forward to you coming back uh, to our apartment. I've I've been wondering where you've been. You've been gone for three three days now. You aren't. You aren't talking to me. I don't really know what the problem is. Uh, I've really missed you. You know I love you so much. You know we moved to Austin together. You know you know we are really close. Ah! You... <laughs> what was that? What was that? Oh, God. <laughs> All right, well... <laughs> That's tonight's episode. How about a hand for William Montgomery, everybody? This is William Montgomery. Hold on. First off, Red Band, what the fuck do you mean you're going to buy her a house? Do you? Uh, how is Los Angeles treating you, though? Do you have you ever thought about moving out of there? Are you kidding? I thought about it every day before you guys left. Well, yeah. you know, if and you want to move out, uh... Red Band's but... gonna buy you a house. What? Oh my God, Red Band, that's such an investment. The fuck is going on with that? Everybody, keep it going for Jared Nathan. I was on a movie set on Friday? You went to, to a movie, movie set? I'm, a movie set? Yeah. I'm, okay. I was introduced to the director yep, of the, the director. movie I'm going to shoot next week. And Tony, they are looking for extras, so I'm going to... I'm going to put in a good word for you. Oh, you're going to put in a good word for me? Oh, thank you. We actually used to sell illegal timeshares to Hispanic people down in Florida. He was so vicious with the people. It was so weird. 
Just so we're very clear, I only wear my white Oakleys to church. (laughs) That's the only fucking place I wear my white Oakleys to church, so. Imagine being the parents of Marcy's Playground. Hey, isn't your son in a band? What song does he sing? It's called Sex and Candy. Oh, do they have any other big songs? Nope, just Sex and Candy. It's all he'll ever be known for. (laughs) Joe Biden's so old, they're going to put his face on the buffalo nickel. (laughs) I think he might be done. William Montgomery. Never really gives a signal when he's finished performing, so we always just have to sort of guess at it. Very unorthodox style, William. You look like a guy that got fired from Best Buy today (laughs) for coming into work in not quite the proper uniform. (laughs) Yeah, I just got fucking laid off. I just ate some fucking mushrooms. I still do have two fucking guns in my goddamn trunk. Whoa. (laughs) Serious business. I can't even find them back there. Whoa. What else do They're you literally lost in my trunk. I can't find them. Um, what, what else do you have in your trunk? Name things that are in your trunk. I have hoses. Hoses? <laughs> Multiple <laughs> hoses? Yeah, like three, like 60-foot hoses back there. Damn. I think the proper word is he's. <laughs> what, yeah, have... what else do you have in your trunk? I have three hoses. I have a bunch of uh, cardboard back there. Oh. Yeah, a lot of cardboard. I've started having to recycle cardboard for money. So honestly, Red Band, that's a little bit why I'm uh, worried when I hear you're going to buy fucking Jesse a fucking house. What literally, what the fuck is going on with that? Uh, I think she's a very beautiful woman. If I can help her out and uh, support her career, I, I, I'll do of anything. all the things to say. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he just opens up guns a blazing. Well, she's a very beautiful woman. I mean, talented. <laughs> what a creepazoid, uh, dude. Uh, 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 do you choose that outfit? Do you lay that out on the bed? Or do you just go in the closet and just grab shit? Yeah, I chose it today. Why do you ask? Why did you say that? You look great. Thank you so much. Yeah. I yeah, I was a little curious why you would fucking ask me that. I'm jealous. Okay, good to hear. If William, stop I being aggressive with the guests. I, I don't want to... What did I tell you about that? You, you told me not to be aggressive with the guests. I apologize, Tony. Thank you. You know what? You Thank look you. like, and I, and I like the outfit, but you look kind of like Louis C.K. if he was stung by a hornet's nest. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> I don't even fucking understand that one. William, what the fuck did you just William, say? William, what did I tell you, William? You said don't be mean to the guests. That's right. Very good. You're doing a very good job. You listen to me and everything's okay. Okay. I love it. So when you did get dressed today, uh, like, what were you thinking? Were you Why like, are people laughing at that? I'm a little fucking I mean, confused. What I the mean, fuck is going on? This seems like a very nice outfit. I literally... You look like the video game character that people create when they're just going to go kill themselves on Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> Like, you, you make that character, and then you just go to the s- biggest skyscraper in, in, in San Andreas and just jump off with no parachute. Maybe try to fire a gun on your way, but... Yeah, Tony, I've been having a pretty hard fucking week, so you hit the nail on the head with that one. That's what I was fucking thinking when I put this ensemble on earlier. I was thinking, I am fucking sick of all this shit. Yeah. I need to find the tallest fucking building in Austin. I still haven't figured that one out. If anybody knows, please tell me. I was on fucking Google for six hours earlier. It's harder than you think, trying to figure out how fucking the tallest fucking building in Austin. It was nearly fucking impossible. I was literally on Google for six hours earlier looking up the tallest fucking building. I still don't know what the fuck it is. Yeah, but you don't want to die in that outfit. <laughs> What the fuck do you mean? What does that fucking William? mean? <laughs> you look like no, a... I'm really confused by that one. What the fuck does that mean? You look like an out of work scout leader. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
God, why is everybody laughing? What is going on in here tonight? <laughs> Everybody's laughing at you, William. What is going on in here? He says, don't go to the, don't go to the prom tonight. I, do, I literally don't get that one. I literally don't understand that one. They're all laughing at you. Oh, oh, like Carrie. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I literally ate some mushrooms earlier tonight. I yeah. never do that. So I literally am horribly on edge right now. I literally, also earlier, six hours on Google, fucking three hours looking for my fucking guns. Three fucking hours! What did you have with the mushrooms? Two meatloafs? <laughs> what did I have with the mushrooms? <laughs> Two meatloafs? Yeah. It does look like you're, you You seem like the kind of guy that would eat meatloaf. I do. I get that one all the way. You really can't complain about that one. Yeah. <laughs> you look like a meatloaf lover. I mean, there's no doubt about it. It's so good. The next day with meatloaf, you can just put it on a grilled cheese sandwich. Yeah. That is one of the best sandwiches. Uh, so you are very correct about that. There's, there's nothing better than food that you can fuck before you eat it. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know if I get that one, though. No, I'm kidding. He fucks meatloaf. <laughs> he fucks meatloaf. All right. Shut the fuck up! Yeah, you can yell at the audience all you want. Them, I don't care about. In fact, let your anger, anything you want to yell about Rich or Willie, yell at that girl up there right now. You can let it out on the, get, on the audience. Why'd you fucking leave two weeks ago? I've been looking for you! No, literally, why'd you leave two weeks ago? That was so weird you would have left two fucking weeks ago. It seemed like, every oh, God. I can't fucking believe you decided to come here. Seriously, why the fuck would you do that? The fuck are you thinking? Somebody get her out of here! <laughs> Wait, William, how do you know this girl? <laughs> do you know her at all? <laughs> <laughs> I actually paid her to be here tonight. I paid her $50. I said, yell raisin bread if it seems like it's not going good. So thank you. <laughs> Fucking bitch. I'm kidding. I don't know who the fuck that is. I don't know who the fuck that is. My favorite. <laughs> I just stopped. That was getting too low. My that favorite part of every William Montgomery set is looking out in the audience and finding the two or three people that aren't enjoying themselves, <laughs> that literally are scared to death of what's up here right now. Like, this guy seems like he's serious about the guns in the trunk. Uh, seems unbalanced. <laughs> I mean, we know they're willing to take advantage of it, everybody. We saw Jared Nathan earlier. Uh, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Um, <laughs> William, what did you think of Jared Nathan's performance tonight? Did you I hear? Did you hear the reception that this crowd gave him? I mean, you only got like half that. I was hoping you were not going to bring that up. I immediately heard that. I was like, "There's no way I'm going to get the same response. What am I even fucking doing here? What's going on?" But I was very happy for him. He does very good. Yeah, yeah, he does. And you all should have seen Tony when we had the shows in Raleigh this week. Tony guessed by one of the shows, he guessed three different people's names correctly. I was on fire this week. Oh, I my God. Correct. But I don't know why you're bringing that up yeah. right now. But it is pretty crazy. I do have a special <laughs> skill where I can um, I guess what uh, people's names are or what they do or where they're from, sort of, if I just stare at them for, more, for a while, from doing crowd work in an empty comedy store for so many years. Did you really cool think story. people thought you... Yeah. You know, seriously. Yeah, I'm sorry really for me. I don't know why I brought that up, Tony. That was a bad mistake. Yeah, it was. I, it was weird. Okay, I won't do that again. That's okay. I'd rather you be mean to the guests than ever do that again. Okay. I'm kidding. I'm joking. <laughs> no, but I mean the fact that you thought people thought you had $50. <laughs> what do you mean by that? Seriously, what do you mean by that? <laughs> William, you have any plans to see anything for South by Southwest or any fun things that you're doing for it? 
I don't. I'm excited about the shows uh, tomorrow and the next night. Uh huh. But no, not doing anything else. Trying to figure out what fucking soup I'm going to make this week. I haven't he makes decided soups. yet. He has a new crock pot that he uses. He had pasta bajoule last week. What, what, have, what, have, what have you been eating the last few days? He's on a, basically a soup-only diet. Clearly, it's soup only him. diet. I discovered this is going to sound weird, but I discovered if you put hot dogs in just a classic chicken noodle soup, it is to die for. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know if y'all have ever tried that, but yeah, just wow. maybe four or five hot dogs just chopped up. Damn. And just a classic chicken noodle soup. I don't know if y'all have ever had that. It is so good. The Shut ladies. the fuck up. The ladies are popping for hot dogs and chicken broth, everybody. <laughs> William, you did it again. Congratulations. Thank you. you so much. There goes William Montgomery.